Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use LinkedIn automation tool, which is Octopus CRM. So we'll be giving you a beginner's tutorial for this tool here. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do here is we need to go to Octopus CRM's official website, which is going to be octopuscrm.io. Now in here, what we need to do next is we need to view a few things here before we actually start using Octopus CRM. So Octopus CRM here is actually a tool for LinkedIn. So it enables you to send automated tools or personalize uh, personal connection requests on LinkedIn, send connection requests by email, and you also have the option to message hundreds of first level connections and book automatically endorse up to seven skills uh, on profiles of your LinkedIn contacts and even visit hundreds of profiles automatically. Now, there's going to be a lot of things that you could do or basically use for this specific tool here. Now, you might be wondering, can, uh, what are the prizes for you to start using Octopus CRM, Octopus CRM here? So for you to view the pricing, you just need, need to click on the pricing option here. And once you click on it, you should be able to see the pricing that they have. So currently, they have the Starter, Pro, Advanced, and the Unlimited. Now, depending on the plan that you'll be uh, getting here, you will be able to do a few things like, for example, personal CRM with stats, auto invite ability to connect with premium linkedin users only so this is uh the starter plan here which is 6.99 now if you get the more advanced plans here which in this case pro advanced or unlimited you'll get more features out of them but in this case we want to start using it the or basically start using the free trial here just to test the water now in this case go ahead and click on free trial at the top right of your screen and from here, this should actually redirect you to the uh, extension for Octopus CRM. So it's going to be an extension that you can, you can actually use on your browser. Now in this case, let's go ahead and click on Add to Chrome here. And from here, click on Add Extension. And from here, that would actually initiate the process of actually connecting or installing the extension itself from your browser. Now in this case, once it's actually installed, you can go ahead and go back to or click on your extension section here look for octopus and make sure that you actually pin this so that you'll be able to access it anytime whenever you have to now in this case what we need to do next is we need to visit linkedin so let's go ahead and go to linkedin here and uh, basically uh, visit our account so let's go ahead and go to linkedin here and from here what we need to do next is we need to start searching for people now maybe i want to say i want to search for let's just say in uh let's just say uh, information technology so maybe I want to say yeah so search for information technology and from here what we need to do is we need to search for people so just use people here and from here what we need to do next is we need to click on our extension which is located at the top right of the screen now whenever you click on it you should be able to see this you are here so it's going to say insert the email address you would like to use to receive email from us so in this case let's go ahead and enter our email here so let's just enter the correct one and from here once you've done that we could go ahead and click on send and from here it's going to say almost there please send, see the email we've just sent you so let's just visit our email here to confirm our account from here you should be able to see uh, the option here so if you haven't received it make sure to you visit your uh other mailbox or other options here like for example the spam here just to just make sure that you receive it and as you can see it's under my spam here make sure to visit that and from here just click on confirm my email and that should actually confirm our email as you can see thank you for signing up now in this case let's go ahead and click on our octopus extension here and as you can see there are actually four actions that we can do here so we have the connect message visit and endorse now connect actually gives you the option to connect with different people now message here ha gives you the ability to uh, message people visit endorse uh, from the name itself allows you to visit and even endorse people now in this case you need to select one of the actions that you have here so maybe i want to use connect here and we want to choose our campaign now if you want to create your a new campaign here you go and click on create campaign and from here just enter a name for your campaign so maybe i want to say this is going to be a test campaign and from here click on create and as you can see we now have our test campaign here if you want to change the campaign you could choose whatever here but in this case i'm going to use the test campaign that i've just created 
And in this case, uh, we need to make sure that the link here is actually valid. So that's why I actually went to the people section here so that our you our link here or LinkedIn link is actually correct. And from here, we want to specify how many profiles to send. So in this case, we will limit this to 100 profiles. And from here, if you want to proceed on sending this, you can go ahead and click on send to CRM. It's going to initiate that. But for now, we want to stop this one. So we want, don't want to proceed with that. And in this case, uh, if you want to learn more on how to actually use it from them, you could actually visit the video tutorial here, which in this case give you the overview overview on how to actually get uh, start using it. Uh, the, um, besides the video I'm explaining right now, so I have the getting started here, CRM overview, how to auto, uh, auto connect on LinkedIn, and uh, all of those bunch of details that you could actually do. Now, in this case, all the details that we won't be able to cover on this tutorial here or in this video here, this is where you'll be able to see it. But in this case, let's just go back in here and we want to visit a few things here. Now, we also have the CRM section here. So whenever you actually click on it, you should be able to uh, basically uh, see your profile. So we have the profile transfer for here. So in this case, it's going to give you some report on the recent uh, thing that you actually did or whatever action that you did before. So since we actually uh, do a connection uh, action, it's going to give us some details net. Like for example, since we canceled it immediately, we only got zero out of one of our profiles requested has been transferred to campaign. So in this case, let's go and click on OK. Now in this case, we want to refresh this one to reload our LinkedIn. Now in this case, let's go ahead, go ahead and go back into Octopus. Now in this case, uh, there are going to be a few things that we need to uh, view here. So if you see this in the rising section, go ahead and wait for it. But in this case, you have the option to view a few things. Like for example, the dashboard here, which contains the general information about your account. So like for example, the LinkedIn statistics, email finder credits, LinkedIn performance, in the last seven days here. So the campaigns uh, or the analytics for your campaigns is where you, you'll be able to see it. Now, if you want to view a specific information or uh, action that you did before you have the connect section so you have the connection quest note so you have the uh, first name last name position company here if you want to add them in the connection request note if you want to edit the uh the message that you'll be sending whenever you actually uh request a connection here and from here at the right side you have the how many users you know, to connect you could go ahead and add whatever uh amount here if you want to connect by email you could go ahead and uh, click on this one to enable it and if you in here you also have the premium option so click the button if you want to focus on users who has a paid linkedin account so which in this case they will be uh the people who are using premium and are really serious in linkedin now in this case at the left side here again you could go ahead and start editing your connection request note and even extract the csv here for any recent history that you have now, if you want to view the message here, this is where you'll be able to uh, basically view the message action. Like for example, if you want to input your LinkedIn message, you can go ahead and do that. Even attach files, you can go ahead and do that as well. And you have the visit and endorse. So the uh, actually, it's actually the uh, sections here that you'll be seeing are actually the same or quite similar. So yeah. So this is where you'll be able to edit certain aspects on the uh, depending on what tool or what uh what type of action that you want to do but in this case if you want to upgrade your plan you could go and go to billing here and you'll be able to see your current plan and even change your plan here so currently i'm only using the free trial here but if you want to upgrade it you could go ahead and click on change plan and then choose whatever here and just complete the uh who uh buy or the upgrade process here now if you want to contact their support you can go ahead and click on contact us and from here you just need to input your message and just click on send message here for you to get support on the tool itself but in this case that's the beginners tutorial for octopus crm and that's about it so if you found this video helpful hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video